This video shows the procedure for connecting the power cables of ABB's ACS880 single drive module after the drive module has been assembled inside the cabinet according to the guidelines. Start by making sure that proper safety procedures are followed. Also make sure that the electricity is switched off during the installation. After the power cables have been fed into the cabinet, make sure they are properly grounded for electromagnetic compliance. Also make sure the drive module is grounded properly. The terminals for the input cables are situated at the top of the drive module and the terminals for the motor cables are located at the bottom. Measure the cable length so that the individual cables can easily reach the terminals. Remember to account for the plastic shrouds that are installed on top of the terminals. Cut the cables to the correct length and install the cable lugs on the ends of the cables. This allows the cables to be attached to the module terminals. The next step is to prepare the plastic shrouds for the input power cables. Drill sufficiently big holes. Feed the input cables through the drilled holes of the plastic shrouds. The cables can now be fastened to the connection terminals in the module. Start with the motor cable. The phase marking is indicated by each terminal. Finalize the cabling and fasten the bolts to the correct tightness. After the cables are fastened, the shrouds can be installed. Finalize the cabinet assembly by connecting the control cables. After this, the connection of the cables to the drive module is completed. Open the lock, securing the disconnection, and switch on the electricity. Now the module is ready for commissioning. The cabinet assembly is now complete. For more detailed information, please see the hardware manual or the quick installation guide available on the ABB website.